Hello everybody and welcome back to the new Reador Biome Bundle server. Where am I? If you don't know where I am then you should definitely go and watch the last episode because it was amazing. We have been cracking on and building such a huge building here on the server with the people. Did a huge time lapse uh, over like two days it took us to build this up. And if you haven't seen that, then go watch that. This is the new Riador Biome Bundle Museum of All Things. A project that we will be working on in the next couple of episodes. Because we are planning on collecting all items that you can collect in Vanilla Minecraft. And if we have a look around, we can occasionally see that there's already stuff in here. Like grass, dirt, pot soil, farmland. Um, and th there's more to see and I want to start filling this up a little bit today. My video just went up so it's uh, still Sunday, so last Sunday for you. And uh, I want to start by getting materials that you're suggesting into this museum. And the first one I want to put in here is actually my favorite block in Minecraft. That was suggested by, oh let me check, I don't have it on my screen right now. Um, Malte Borgman suggested that I should get my favorite block into here, which is of course the redstone ore. And so we need to go to the ore room right around the corner here. Was the second or the third one along the line? It is right here. And it is not placed in here yet, that is great. So I will go now and see if I can find a cave where I can get redstone ore, because I've got my silk touch, so uh, see you over there. I think I found it right here. We're not too far off. I thought, why should I go for a cave? I can just fly around because it's on the surface. So there we go. There's our redstone ore. Now let's return this over to the museum. There you can see then that it's not too far where I went. So this is the first of those mountains, which I could call like jungle forest type of area. This is where we traveled through with the horses, so the museum is on this mountain over here. There you can see it. So let's see that we get in quickly, so we can then place the redstone ore on the right spot. Through here. And into the second room. I almost made it. <laughs> so... Here we go, redstone ore in place. I think that this room could be a nice challenge next because this is the mob drops of the hostile mobs and there are already a few in here like rotten flesh and uh, gunpowder, prismarine, prismarine crystal, enderpearl and shulker shell and a blaze rod. But the others are still empty and I want to try to fill up this room which might be a little hard. These are pretty easy I think. We'll just go around. Okay, these are not hostile mobs, but uh, then we get slime boards, magma cream, gas tier, and the nether star. So let's see how far I get into this. It is getting night, so in theory we should be able to find the spider rather quickly. And I'm also on the lookout for rabbits. If I find some, I will take them for sure. Uh, but so far there's just sheep, a zombie, and nothing else I can really see. There's a creeper. I doubt that there are rabbits in the swamp. I don't even know if I have seen rabbits here at all, but in theory there should be some in the world, because I think that they spawn in deserts. So whenever we see a desert biome, we might be lucky there. Also, I'm just noticing that we are in a swamp. And let's have a look at the moon. It's just quite full, so there's a good chance that we will find a slime out here, which is also on the list. So let me run around. And there's the spider, let's get it, ignore whoa, the skeletons, and if we are lucky, yeah, there we go, string and spider eye is checked off the list. <laughs> there's even a witch out here. The swamp is quite big, actually, didn't know that it went on for so far, but maybe we are lucky and can find a slime out here. I just can see creepers and skeletons and zombies everywhere, but I'm mostly ignoring them. Oh, there's witches. Um, because they can't really harm me at this point of the game. So just running around looking for a slime. 
Oh, I can see something back there. We should go for it. Uh, but first, let me get rid of the creeper. And maybe also this guy. And I heard you. Oh, he's jumping up off in the trees. So let's see that we can get the slime. Oh, there's more. Perfect. Whoops. I'm really sorry, piggy. Uh, this should give us slime balls. Yay. All right. Uh, next thing crossed off the list, I think let's go into the nether then. I actually died once here in the nether because my elytra wasn't flying anymore and I crashed into a lava lake so this time I've got a fire resistance potion so that can't happen to me. I will survive no matter what and I can already hear a gasp which might be good but for now let's head into the fortress. Oh, I can see a ghast. Uh, let's kill him and see if we can get a ghast here then. Uh, just need to head up there, I guess. And, oh my goodness. Oh, God, not good. There was some serious wither skeletons there. So, let's try to get up to where the ghast was. That should be around here. And I need to be careful not to die. Ah, just gunpowder. Uh, still, uh, I need to get those skeletons down there. Oh, another ghast. That's a ghast here. And if it didn't fall into a lava lake, I should have that now. Let's have a look. Died somewhere around here. Uh, there's the XP. Oh, there's so much fire as well. Uh, let's just head over here. Can't see any items. Maybe they have been falling down. Doesn't look like I'm lucky here. Second ghast, no ghast here as it seems. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Was almost gone and got it now. Ghast here is checked off the list. Awesome. I will try to find another fortress which is a little bit more open than uh, this one here. Because this one is hard to navigate around. And here we've got a magma cream. So this guy should for sure drop some of the magma balls. What are they called? Magma cream, I think. So let's just kill them with the swipe attack because the small ones don't drop anything anyways. Just one, but that's enough. And there we got the first skull. Two more to go. I knew he was there. And that is number two.
Oh my god. <laughs> I just thought I I'd shoot him and see if he maybe drops the skull. And there it is. Number three. It's time to get back then. So here I am at the end portal. The reason is that I want to know if I die where my stuff is at least. So I will just dig a little bit in this direction and then make a little room and spawn the wither. I also make myself some potions, so regeneration, fire resistance, instant health as a splash potion, night vision so you guys can actually see the fight. And I think that I'm pretty good with that then. So just a few more blocks and then I think we don't need to make too big of a room because he will make his own one. So somewhere around here I think is fine. So let me just make this as big as I need it so we can spawn in the wither. It took me quite some time to uh, get the soul sand actually. <sighs> I just got three pieces. Okay, here we go. Let me drink the night vision and fire it. I just drank a regeneration potion. I need to focus a little bit more, so let's do this quickly then. One, two, three. Uh, fire resistance. And then I do have another regeneration if I need it. Well, that was a waste, but at least it's about a minute now. And there's my first wither on the server. Trying to break free at first, which makes it easy for me to just give him some shots with... Oh, there he is. And he should be in melee in just a second. I'm going to take a look what my health is doing. So far so good. I think I should get him down in just a second. As long as I don't die now afterwards. Just in case. Do this eat easy fight let's pick up some more emeralds I always need those <laughs> so something doesn't look quite right here don't you think so this is not how I left it I saw this earlier let's check it out I think that I got pranked here uh, because there's plenty of purple blocks on this ship and I know exactly who this was because the other day I was talking to Selodri and Chrysia in Discord and I mentioned that I don't think there's a good use for the purple block. They taught me better there is a use, it's pranking. And yeah, everything, every floor block, every ceiling that is empty is covered and that all thanks to this one. <laughs> so yeah this will be a pain to clean up I think because there's just so many blocks here on the ship and I think that I would do that in a quick montage they even left me some blocks and a beacon which is cool but apart from that this is a pain it does look so awful so let's clean that up so while the montage is running I want to ask you how I should get back on them. Silodri will be gone for a bit now and uh, I think Chrysia it's hard to find a time where she's not on the server. So I need two ideas what I can do about pranking them back. It should be something that is funny and uh, that is not destroying anything. That is the only things that I think uh, are important and it should be kind of easy to do for me so it shouldn't up take up too much time. If you have any ideas, put them in the description and uh, we'll see if we can have some fun next episode. So looking forward to see what you guys can come up with.
So are you ready for the saddest moment in the series? It's time to collect some items from some mobs like these ones here and uh, they are trying to escape but we need to actually get those for the museum so for science I guess we should do this. It actually I think took me longer to find those rabbits uh, than it took me to uh, get the, the wither down. I was flying through all over the map and then I was already kind of given up thinking that we don't have any Oh, that was a miss. Um, but then Crucia said that she saw rabbits at her base and I could go get them here. And there we go, there's the rabbit's foot. I don't need to murder any more of those. So now we just need some leather and then this room would be complete, I think. So leather is easy. Uh, I think there's a cow pen here where we can just slaughter one, which I will do immediately. So here we go. Thank you very much for the leather and then I think we can go and sort those items in that we collected now. Back at the museum it is time to place the items that we got today and therefore let's go over to the room again. Maybe for the last time now because then the room is complete. We got everything. I was not thinking that we could get the nether star today, to be honest. Uh, but yeah, let's just place them. So leather is in place. The spider eye, string, uh, rabbit height, rabbit foot. That took so long to get this. Slime ball, magma cream, gas tier and the nether star and with that this room is complete. I think it's the first room in the whole museum that is now complete. I really like that. Um, was quite a fun episode. I hope that you enjoyed that as well. Um, if you have any suggestions what I should get next, I've got a little bit of an idea what I could do but maybe you've got a better idea what could be a challenge to get, uh, then let me know in the comment section. But I think for today it's time to wrap things up. It was a lot of work getting those items, not as much work as building this museum of course, but especially the nether star and the rabbit that took some time. So I hope that you enjoyed the episode. If you did, then feel free to leave a like, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and share this video with your friends and I hope then to see you in the next episode. Until then, have a great day!